We're going to start with the breaking news this morning, the very bleak job numbers that have just come out from StatsCan, and they show how significant the impact the pandemic lockdown is having, especially on communities already hard hit and facing the realities of precarious employment. Scott Peterson with the breaking numbers. Scott, a lot worse than we were uh, hearing from economists and even that they were expecting. Yeah, indeed. This is a bad one, a lot worse than anyone was expected. In fact, this is the third worst on record. And to, to beat this record, you got to go back, unfortunately, to April when the economy lost 1.9 million jobs. But take a look at these numbers just reported by Statistics Canada this morning. For the month of January, we lost just over 212,000 positions in the country. A lot of those were part-time jobs. A lot of them were concentrated in Ontario and Montreal. But as a result as well, the unemployment rate rose to 9.4%. Uh, so this is a, a substantially uh, difficult month. We know the reasons why, of course, the pandemic, the shutdowns over the Christmas season. So during the reporting season for Statistics Canada, a lot of Canadians were unemployed uh, indeed. Take a look at some of the uh, industries that are affected for obvious reasons. Accommodation and food services, that uh, was down 8%, over 8%. Retail trade, down over 7%. Uh, but all, all of the uh, these uh, uh, infrastructure, culture, recreation uh, were all down considerably during the time. Now, just to touch on the, the part-time nature of these jobs, a lot of these jobs were part-time. Uh, again, a lot of them were concentrated in Ontario and Quebec, where the service industry uh, is, is the most pronounced as far as how many people are in those industries. And so an extremely disappointing month to economists, 212,800 jobs lost. Wiping out those gains. What sectors have been most affected in, in the month of January, Scott? Uh, well, if we look at the accommodation food services, retail trade, uh, culture recreation, construction was a little bit positive. But what's interesting as well is Statistics Canada now keeps track of uh, ethnicity of Canadians and who is impacted by this. And if we take uh, a look at some of that as well, eight, uh, Southeast Asian community, particularly a hard hit, they have an average unemployment rate of 20 percent. Black Canadians as well, that rate spiking up 5 percent to just over 16 percent unemployment on average and youth and women as well adversely affected and a lot of uh, these communities are involved in the retail the hospitality business the part-time business as well if you will a lot of single mothers uh, uh, mixed up in this as well so unfortunately those numbers are spiking as well Heather the largest monthly decline since April Scott thank you very much and we'll continue to watch market reaction and further political reaction to that but Scott Peterson thank you yeah. very much